I feel like I've, uh, I was made for quarantine in the bubble after spending 10 years in Russia. I know being in an apartment by yourself for many months uh, and not having many people to talk to. So to me, that, that's nothing unusual. Uh, and you know, you take solace in being on the court for two hours. That's the, literally the only part of life that's normal right now for, for us being in here. And, you know, I shared this with my team earlier that it's a huge sacrifice that we're all making to be here, leaving family, friends, whatever it may be. Everyone has a different reason. Um, you know, and when we're on the court, we got to make the best of it. Th these are the times that we can actually enjoy and, and, and really pour ourselves into each other. It's not easy. It's not going to be easy. Um, but that's when you rely on each other. I mean, it's, it's, it's like an Olympics, Final Four, World Championships. Um, you know, and it's just all together, you know, where you see all the teams, you eat with them, you see them in, in the practice gym. So there's that. the same you come you do your job and then you have to find a way to to stay you know mentally safe for the next you know eight hours of, of the day and uh you know i'm lucky we have a great team here we have great support um and, you know it's different now you have facetime uh you have all those things where you know my first couple of years overseas you didn't have those things you literally didn't even have internet um, so you know you make the best out of it Overseas, um, you know, they do things differently and you just kind of have to go with it. Um, so that was my mentality coming into the bubble is um, it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be some misunderstandings, but at the end of the day, you know, the court's going to be the same size. We're going to have practice. We have teammates and great coaches. Um, so, you know, my job is just to play basketball at the end of the day. I mean, it helps a lot. When you're, when you're playing overseas and you don't really know the language and you don't really know where you can go, you kind of go to practice, you go back to your room. To, it's kind of like a quarantine situation. So it's, it's really helped me a lot um, to be able to be here uh, with my teammates and understand that, you know, we have to take every single day, one day at a time. We can't get too far ahead of ourselves. And we have to try to progress every single day. So um, then in that sense, it's really helped a lot. Of yeah. Um, to be honest, as we were kind of, you know, we landed, we get in some some vans that were pulling up to the hotel to kind of check in. It was like reminiscent of going to camp as a kid because, you know, you came with all your bags, usually with your parents, and you probably had like your sleeping bag and your fan because it was summer camp. Um, you had to check in and get your jersey and like do all that stuff. It was very reminiscent of that. Um, but now that we're in it, I don't think there's really anything like this, you know, and that's what makes all of this such um, a unique experience. Um, it's, it's where the challenges will lie. There's no playbook for a bubble in a pandemic. I think we're all just trying to make the best of it. And as far as the basketball goes, um, yeah, I mean, this is, I don't, I mean, I guess I see where D is coming from with the Olympic comparison, because usually we don't have a lot of training time. You know, we're just kind of thrown together and we have to make it work. Um, but this is, this is, you know, before a season, not before just like a two week tournament. So it, it's got a little different deal. Luckily for us in Seattle, um, I'm sure a lot of teams can say the same thing. We have a lot of the players back. So we're comfortable, we're familiar. Hopefully we can um, pick up where we left off even last year and the year before. But I do think it's, it's similar to like, if you took college and you added like a summer camp to it, that's what it is, but as adults. So I can't say it's anything like I've ever done. Um, but it is similar to some things I've done as a younger self, as my younger self. So it's a little hard. It's a little weird being around, uh, seeing teams everywhere we go. Um, some people I've seen, uh, we've kind of made a pack where like we don't have to say hi every time I see them because I think I saw Sue Bird the other day four or five times in one day. So it's, it's a little weird, but it's going to take some getting used to. It's... Um... It's definitely kind of a mix of everything. I think, uh, you know, we're not really in the Olympic Village, but this is this is the same kind of feel that we have during the Olympics, during uh, college, really. I think it's like college summer workouts because you see like only the athletes are here, you know, walking around on campus and that type of thing. And um, I think as we get farther out of this quarantine period, because I think just – just on Friday was when we kind of were able to get a little bit um, more freedom. That's, that's how it's going to be. You know, it's, I, I, I keep picturing it as like an AAU tournament, you know, you see the kids walking out with their backpacks and their flip flops and that type of thing. And that's us, you know, we're walking around the campus with our backpacks and flip flops and 